Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tom Tufflets coming at you with another Leap Bata reaction. We are just starting our journey with this incredible, incredible musician. Uh, even though you guys kind of like, well, he's not really a musician. This guitar is just more of a hobby for him. Well, I, I consider him a musician for the fact that he could play this guitar so freaking well. He speaks through his guitar, which is phenomenal to listen to. Um, and going through you guys' comments, you guys have... A lot of comments were about checking out the song Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm very familiar with the song. I grew up on Queen. This is one of the most iconic Queen songs of all time. And it was a real game changer when it released back in the day. Um, but I'm excited to see where Mr. Elite Bata is going to put his little spin on this song and see what he does with this whole fingerstyle guitar slang that he does. Oh, baby, baby. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. But before we do, do me a favor if you guys would. Feel free to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this reaction. If not, that's okay, too. But I want to keep bringing in Mr. Elite Bata on this channel because, I mean, this channel is all about bringing talent uh, as well as just incredible music here. And that's uh, that's our goal here. So, you know, always come back for more. We'll definitely be reacting to him more. Uh, but as well, at the end, don't forget to leave something down in the comments as far as if, where you want to guide us for our next Elite Bata reaction. It's always appreciated what your thoughts are uh, on this cover that he's about to do. So let's dive on in. Uh, Mr. Elite Bata, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Let's get it. Already does the intro exceptionally well, damn near perfect. Uh, I mean, it's incredible to think that, you know, you guys told me that his day job is a forklift driver. So, you know, he's working that, who knows, 8, 12 hours a day. And then he comes home, plays a little guitar, and he's excelled to the point where he's at right now is just blows my mind. It really does. Um, I mean, there's tons of uh, guitarists or musicians out there that practice their instrument daily for hours and hours, and they're not to the level of Mr. Elite Bata. So, like, this guy was born to do this, in my opinion, um, and I hope he keeps bringing out incredible, incredible music as well as his originals, but the covers are just always so well done because not only does he do the instrumental part, he also does the, does the vocal parts uh, throughout the song. So it's just an easy way for you to kind of sing along if you know the song. Um, so I think that's really cool. Let's keep going.
right, before we get to the, the fun part, what I appreciate about the song so much, uh, I love the way the song builds up. It starts out, you know, nice, soft, slow, sad, emotional, then it starts to pick up to a more of a upbeat tempo as it goes on, which is really cool. And you notice that with the way that he's playing through his fingers, which I, I absolutely love this style of guitar play. It's so cool to me. Um, but also, like, man, his... Uh, I would love to see what he could do on an electric guitar. I mean, electric guitar has a lot more forgiveness as far as, like, kind of covering your mistakes as far as what he's doing specifically, um, just because it's so uh, uh, sensitive uh, with your fingers on the strings, when, especially what he's doing with, like, hammer-ons and his triplets and whatnot that he's doing. So it's really interesting because he's not really making any mistakes here. They're all there. It's just sometimes some of the notes don't get picked up as well as the others. But on electric guitar, it's a lot easier to do that. But, I mean, I think with electric guitar, you probably lose more of the the atmosphere as far as, like, how relaxed and, you know, how, you know, how he's kind of, how we're all just kind of zoned out and just enjoying really nice, soft uh, music. And with electric guitar, you're probably just going to put up some devil horns and start headbanging. Um, but, yeah, just one time, I would just be curious to see him slay out an electric guitar. I think it would be absolutely cool to check out. But he should definitely stick with what he's doing, obviously, because, I mean, he's a master at it for sure. But just a little, just my two cents there. I'd just like to see it. It would be cool. So leave it top, please. Just one time. One time. All right, let's go. Here comes the fun part. <laughs> to play that part back so yeah that's the part i'm talking about when it starts to pick up it gets to that operatic sound and then it goes to the the rock sound uh where you start head banging uh but i want to pick up those last like the last 20 seconds of that uh just watch his hands it's absolutely so cool to check him out like his style of playing is just it's second to none it's 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 incredible to watch watch this It's like watching a well, like a well-oiled machine do its job, like what it's supposed to do. Like his hands, you know, uh, I think with a lot of people, and I was like this when I used to play guitar, not so much anymore, but like when you get to those difficult parts in the song where there's just a lot of movement with your fingers, you kind of have to look down and make sure that you're hitting the right frets on the, on the board. And he really doesn't have to do that because most of the time his eyes are closed when he's playing because he's just so emotionally invested into the song. So it's cool to see that he's just that damn good that he can just 
It's all it's all just natural to him. I love it. Come on, Lee Batal, bring it home, baby. What's really cool to me is um, his guitar, uh, his setup he has really like there's uh, when he gets on those high notes where it's kind of like that ringing noise. Um, it's really nice because his, his guitar picks it up so well. Um, I think this guy is just he's just one of those guitarists that I could sit around and listen to all day without it. I don't need I don't need vocals and drums and everything. He's kind of like the all in one package. Uh like I said, if you are familiar with the song, you just get to sing along with it. It's just a real joy to have. I mean, he just seems like such an incredibly humble person. Uh, he doesn't try and showboat or anything. He just plays how he feels, and I think that's incredible. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm Tom Toughnuts. I hope you enjoyed this reaction because I freaking enjoyed listening to this song. That's for sure. So I thank you guys for recommending this one, and I can't wait to check out our next Elite Bata song we're going to do. But don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, and I hope you come back for more because I'm going to keep delivering it for you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Take care, be safe, and goodbye, my friends.